May I come in, sir? Please come. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please sit. Why are you wearing a mask? Uh, sir, actually, I'm having sore throat, so All I right. just took All a right, bit right. of precaution. Uh, embracing personal growth through self help literature, introspective journaling, and vipassana, exploring pencil shading and barley painting recreationally. Now, tell me all of this in one small, simple sentence. Sir, uh, my life to a certain extent is. Uh, Based on uh, the things that uh, go beyond academics, I've always been good at academics, but all these things help me excel beyond academics. What is introspective journaling? Uh, so in that, I try to analyze my emotions, my thoughts, my processes, and uh, uh, how they could affect my decision making. All right. Now, uh, I saw something about COVID in your activity. Yes, sir. Do you think the world's reaction to COVID was an overreaction? Um, sir, I think the world was quite not ready for something like that. Uh, we hadn't anticipated. It was kind of a black swan event. Um, I think they, we could have done some things better. Uh, however, I think... Uh, Did we overreact? Uh, no, sir. I, I, I don't think we overreacted. Uh, I think... It could have been uh, certain areas of misjudgment, but I, I, I think we... But I think more people die of what we call neglected tropical diseases than the whole number of people died of COVID. So why don't we look at the diseases that are causing more deaths, like neglected trop tropical diseases? Why was there so much noise about COVID? Uh, sir, uh, with tropical diseases, we are trying to uh, help. We have, we have gone a lot more ahead with... Uh, many of the vaccines and etc. COVID was much more of a, a faster event and uh, people panicked because something that they had not seen. But panic is not, uh, the medical science fraternity does not have to react out of panic. It should be based on some objective criteria. Would you agree? Yes, sir. I do agree. Uh, however, sir, I would like to point that uh, with tropical diseases, the number of deaths are have happened over a period of years. Uh, and uh, it is something that we have faced for a very long time. Uh, Covid, something, uh, I, I, I'm not sure how to frame it. Um, I'm sorry, sir, I'm unable to... Alright, uh, in, in ordinary language, what is a vaccine and what does it do? Uh, sir, a vaccine is a way of helping your body to remember to... Uh, create a memory for a certain... That's uh, too technical. In ordinary language, you make me understand. What's, sir, a vaccine, uh, sir, what's a vaccine supposed to do? Sir, they are supposed to protect you from any disease. So, they'll uh, give you a previous exposure. No, I got uh, COVID after two doses of COVID shield. Was that a vaccine or was that a hoax? Uh, sir, the vaccine uh, was more of to decrease the intensity uh, so why call it a vaccine? That means the medical fraternity are telling us lies. Uh, sir, sorry sir. Uh, vaccine, I think, uh, in many cases, in, in specifically of COVID, I think was more in order to reduce mortality. Uh, and that is that was more but of but the case. Then will it be right to call it a vaccine? Um, uh, I'm not sure, sir. But I think... Uh, at that point in time, uh, something very new was there and we had done our best and they, they were emergency and, vaccines. And how can you produce a vaccine in a matter of months when from whatever little my understanding is, it takes decades and years of research. Yes. And clinical testing, animal testing, air testing, lab testing. And here suddenly in six months time we are producing vaccine after vaccine. So if I insist that all of this was a hoax, it was a lie, that there was no vaccine. They were only placebos. Would you agree with me? Uh, no, sir, I wouldn't because I think the amount of research definitely was a lot faster than the regular ones. But Do you as a doctor believe that a vaccine can be created in six months? Yes or no? Sir, not the perfect one. Uh, no, thank you. Oh. Thank you. Okay.
Yeah. Yes, sir. You have done MBBS yes. and uh, the, and after house job everything. Then you move thought of moving to civil services. Yes, sir. Any specific reason for changing um, the profession and other things? Uh, sir, uh, my MBBS career was a stepping stone to understanding that I like public service and uh, civil services gives me a much more broader scope to work upon. In MBBS, I'll usually be catering to one-on-one -on -one patients. Uh, in civil services, I can cater to an entire segment. So it's a much broader canvas as well as a lot of diversity and challenges. Why this realization comes after doing engineering or medicine? Why not at the nowadays? So Children are so well aware at plus two level also what career they want to choose. Yes, because you are losing a doctor or an engineer yes, for yes. civil services, which is not the minimum requirement for that job. And what is your take on that? Uh, sir, honestly, my uh, experience through COVID was my main thrust. Uh, because in COVID, I realized that having a good health infrastructure and administration is equally important uh, to having good doctors because uh, unless and until we don't have the infrastructure and medications, not even a great doctor can treat a patient. So that's why I thought that uh, I should take a leap and uh, amplify the knowledge that I gained through MBBS to become a service Do you think uh, when a, whether a poor man can have a best medical treatment in our country even now? Uh, sir, I have worked in one of the top most uh, tertiary care hospitals in uh, Mumbai hmm. and we try to cater to as many people as possible. However, I would uh, not like to uh, say that it is completely uh, okay because there is a lot of overload as well. However, the government is trying to do its best and we as doctors are also uh, trying to do our best to serve the poor people. Okay. Okay, Neha, tell me what is the difference between marital rape and normal rape? Uh, so, marital rape is wherein the uh, couple or the people or uh, the man accused is the husband of the uh, girl. Uh, and rape is not specific. Rape is usually uh, it's it's not defi it's not the husband. It's probably uh, some other. Is man. there same punishment for both? Uh, no, sir. Uh, there isn't. We haven't officially uh, given the same punishment for mm -hmm. marital. Okay. What is your take about this living relationship? Mm. Sir, as a, a student of anthropology, mm. I think uh, there are many changes that have gotten into a society. We are moving towards a more liberal. A way of lifestyle and living relationship gives our youth the liberty to have relationships and uh, pursue the life that they want in a different way and uh, that is uh, uh, steadily changing the status quo how we view uh, living relationships. In uh, UCC introduced by Uttarakhand, they made registration compulsory for such couples. Yes, sir. Do you agree with that registration part? Uh, no, sir. I think uh, it actually definitely hampers the right of privacy of both the individuals. And I think uh, India is a country which has always championed the right to privacy. So I think uh, it's a, a very tell stringent me, law. When there is a marriage, we tell every whole world, we celebrate, <laughs> there is no right of privacy heart at that time. When you are having a living relationship, then why we should hide it? Uh, sir, uh, living relationships are not socially acceptable as much as marriages are. Marriages are much more socially acceptable forms of uh, couple relationships and that's why people uh, don't want to uh, uh, share it with the world. Yeah. Okay, my last question. Yes, sir. What do you think are the, what is the, can you do an overview of international economy for us? Uh, so right. currently the oh, entire, international economy yeah. yes sir. yes uh, the world is going through a slowdown uh, in economy uh, two to three percent of growth is seen uh, on on an average over the whole world mm -hmm. uh, however India is a, a bright spot uh, anything things, else you see about the econo international economy uh, sir, because of the wars that have been going oh, on, good. there mm. have been disruptions in the supply chain, okay. such as in the Red Sea, uh, as well as the Russia-Ukraine war to a lot of extent has disrupted okay. the supply chain. Thank you. Thank you, Neha. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Neha. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, you, good afternoon. You did 
like you worked as house officer at forensic medicine yes, sir. was it like one reason of your deciding to quit mbbs or doctor's job is that because you were offered forensic division no uh, no or sir uh, that was something that i did voluntarily uh, i had joined as in my own college as a house officer Okay. Uh, however because i felt that uh, i had to work uh, more towards my civil services that's why uh, i left the job what is the importance of forensic in investigation and also in medical profession uh, sir forensic medicine provides a scientific evidence of the crime that has been committed so we'll be uh, better uh, able to acquit the uh, accused and uh, it uses many uh, things such as genetics etc to uh, do so so they have a very important role to play yes uh, in a criminal investigation yes sir. and their certificate matters quite a lot yes sir so there is pressure also on yes, forensic sir. doctors yes sir that is true uh, during your mbps this was a covid time no yes, 2021 20, 22 yes sir. so you were uh, also assigned some duty because mostly doctors no or students were assigned heavy uh, duty uh, yes sir i was assigned a covid duty i was posted in the war rooms in mumbai mm -hmm. uh, wherein we were on the verge of a uh, surge in a third wave which was emerging somewhere in january 2022 so you had no problem but there was the trauma of all this experience perhaps uh, sir, I think definitely uh, we had mental health issues because a lot of our uh, colleagues had gone through a lot. But I think uh, in medicine, we also have a lot of passion to uh, go through all this and serve people. So I think that kept me going. Now, your um, college is in Nasik. No? Nasik, you stayed for uh, uh, no, sir, roughly uh, four, four years at uh, Mumbai. Mumbai, sir, Mumbai. Not Nasik. No, sir, Mumbai. Maharashtra is considered to be the largest state uh, domestic, uh, I mean SGDP is the highest in the yes. country. What yes. is the SGDP of Maharashtra? Uh, sir, it is around 35 lakh crore uh, 35 rupees. 35 lakh yes, crore. Sir. And it, what the percentage last... of total SG, uh, GDP it provides to yes, the country? Yes, sir, it is around 14% of India's uh, GDP. 14%? Yes, sir. Does Maharashtra also have issue like southern states of being assigned less allocation? Uh, Sir, uh, I, uh, as far as I have read, I don't think Maharashtra has such an issue of uh, financially being allocated less. I think rather it has increased over a period of years. Yeah, uh, what is the problem of huge uh, water logging in Mumbai? Because in spite of lot of, there are World Bank projects, there are UN projects and every year there has been effort. But whenever there is heavy rain, Yes, sir. There is a standstill in Mumbai city. What is the reason? They are not working on the projects. It is simply uh, wasted or what? Sir, I'll take a moment. Uh, sir, the main issue with Mumbai is regarding the drainage system, uh, which hasn't been as much updated as it should have been. And sir, secondly, because Mumbai is that urban, there is also the effect of concretization. So the water is unable, it does not get uh, absorbed into the ground. That's why the water logging issue is quite high. Uh, however, sir, I think we are moving towards a more sustainable, we are trying to do uh, through Atal Setu as well. Uh, we have tried to inculcate the environmental aspect in it to uh, ensure that we are moving towards a greener future. But this is an old mega police, so why this uh, stormwater drainage and all was neglected? And also there are reports that the seashore in Mumbai is fully highly polluted and this will lead to serious problem in sea life also, plus tourism. Sir, I'm unaware of the uh, exact reasons why uh, uh, we haven't been able to. This is again through sea waste, no? Sea waste disposal in the sea. That is one main reason. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Sir. Okay. All right. Yep. So, Neha yes, Uddhav Singh Rajput, yes. doctor to prefix. All right. You have worked in uh, the forensic medicine department. Yes. So, have you conducted any postmortems also? 
uh, yes sir i did uh, quite a few quite however, a few yes sir. okay uh, however it was my initial days because uh, that's yeah. fine yeah. Yes. but theoretical knowledge you would have yes, or not um, basic okay I okay, yes. okay. Uh, how is pmi determined Sorry, sir. What is PMI? I, I cannot. Post mortem interval? Uh, sir, we uh, try to see the uh, different signs on the skin changes. Uh, on the basis of that, we uh, try to determine the skin color changes as well as there is lividity. Uh, depending on that, we uh, assess. Lividity is called what in forensic medicine? What are various stages of uh, lividity? Oh, sorry, sir, I'm unable. Sure. These are basic things that yes, I'll, wherever I'll you are given a cadaver to carry oh. out a postmortem, yes. you are taught these. Uh, sir, okay, yes. the, the physical ident physical markers are better, or biochemical markers are better in postmortem. If you have read any theory, sir, uh, in simpler cases, I think. If we have concrete uh, evidence that physically, physically we can see changes, I think they are always better. However, there are cases where we are unable to uh, see any uh, gross marking on any of the organs, etc. That time we have to rely on our biochemical analysis. The forensic department helps the police cases, criminal yes. cases. Yes. So why determination of PMI? is crucial for investigation. Um, so PMI is important because then they'll be uh, uh, able to ascertain at what time the crime was committed. How? Uh, if, if there is any crime committed. How? <laughs> Sorry, sir. I Okay. Uh, have you also heard of virtual autopsy? Uh, no, sir, sorry, sir. I... At the national level, in all the national dairies, there were big news about uh, virtual autopsy. You are not aware of that? Uh, no, sir, I'm not aware. All right. Okay. You do uh, pencil shading, okay? Yes. What is the difference between uh, sketching and stapling? Stapling as an art. Uh, sir, stapling, I'm uh, not quite sure. Sketching is usually, uh, it could be pen sketching, uh, wherein you use pen strokes All right. to do. Okay, okay, I got it. If you are not aware, let me not bother you with that. Uh, you are a doctor. Is there a correlation between fitness and health? Or they are two distinct things? Sir, fitness I would call a subset of health. Health uh, includes mm -hmm. mind, body, both of them. Uh, so emotional and physical, uh, both include. The so fitness, uh, fitness is not being healthy. If you are fit, you are not healthy. Can I say that? Uh, no, sir. I'd say uh, if uh, to a certain extent you are healthy. However, if your mind is not healthy, uh, then I'll not uh, be able to say that the p person who is fit is a healthy person overall. He can a person can a person with all the uh, all the markers yes. that you have yes. after testing and everything, will you declare him healthy but not fit? Uh, I have all my parameters in control, right? Yes. Am I healthy? Uh, sir, I think only uh, markers are not a very good idea of being fit i think regular exercise is what because there will always be some or the other which might not be uh, catched up upon the uh, biochemical markers or the tests that we carry out uh, they will be visible only when okay. to a very great extent there has been damage uh, all right anyway thank you so much yes thank you sir. <clears throat> yeah i'll start with your yes, hometown sir. yes sir uh, why is jalgaon and what is uh, wh what is it famous for? Uh, sir, Jalgaon is a, a city in Ma uh, it's a district in Maharashtra, and we are quite famous for our bananas. Okay. Yes, sir. Apart from that, 
सर वी आर ऑल्सो फेमस फॉर आर जैन इरीगेशन प्रोजेक्ट विच इज़ अ ह्यूज कंपनी वी हैव ट्राई टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ ड्रिप इरीगेशन इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ बनाना प्रोडक्शन सो दैट इज वन अनादर थिंग विच इज द अदर मेन क्रॉप सर कॉटन ऑल्सो इज ग्रोन इन जल वाई इज द एरिया सूटेड टू कॉटन प्रोडक्शन सर जलगाव इज एन एरिया विथ फर्टाइल ब्लैक सॉइल एंड दी कंडीशन द ऑफ हैविंग सनी डेज इज क्वाइट अ लॉट इन जलगाव विच इज रिक्वायर्ड इन कॉटन प्रोडक्शन दैट्स वाई इट इज सूटेबल ओके वी ऑफन हेयर इन महाराष्ट्र there is a demand from maratha kota in jobs yes sir what are your views on that uh so i think a detailed uh, survey has to be carried out in order to have evidence whether or not they have adequate amount of representation uh, to and to uh, understand whether or not they should be given a reservation in the say but supposing every state follows in the same footsteps then don't you think it will adversely affect the unity of the country uh sir i think reservation as an affirmative action was meant in order to uplift the uh, people and give them equal opportunities so i think having uh, an evidence based thing and giving them uh, does not mean that we are going against the unity but we are trying to give them an equal opportunity then don't you think uh, general category like ews would be a better option rather than going in for regional identities uh, sir there are uh, certain classes which would have uh, specific needs or uh, they might be uh, to a very large uh, they might have a huge population Uh, because of which there might be reasons to give uh, another reservation however sir i think ews can be a very good uh, way of ensuring reservation for them so in a way you feel that caste census which some states have gone in for and other states are trying to follow it is a good exercise so i think today uh, as an anthropology student as well i think caste is very much a reality still in india today uh, and it is completely ingrained in our society and we are following our reservation regarding caste so i think having uh, a very uh, stern data regarding the same will help us do data driven governance rather than going blindly into it what impact will it have on the elections uh sir definitely there will be uh, political parties or people who would try to politicize the entire issue uh, and create disharmony uh, however sir i think there uh, we could take measures for it because uh, having a data would be a great thing to continue the system that we are having can you suggest one or two measures um Sorry, sir. I'm unable to think of any. I'll have to give it a bit of thought. Okay. My final question to you is again regarding uh, Bombay, Mumbai. Yes. Sir. yes sir. We know and we keep on reading lot of news about Bollywood. Do you think there is a case for sanitization of Bollywood? Sir. Uh, from my perspective i i i i am of the opinion that uh, there has to be a balance uh, even if we are trying to sanitize bollywood because uh, there will always be a creative freedom to the people so i think that's why we will have to balance it okay thank you उट 
definitely said ki uh, articulation and everything is good uh, however at that point i was elongating my answers to a very long extent so they try to say that keep it crisp don't elongate uh, and i'm working on my content is yes. working on your content as well uh the topics that they had asked there were a few topics that i was mm. unable to answer so mm. try to focus on that you talk well you are you are very nicely dressed uh, for this kind of a situation uh, you are pretty natural your hand movement is there is nothing artificial about you uh one thing i will agree to your the previous feedback you know your answer even today could have been cut short Yes. Uh, I'll tell you like what I noticed was that uh, <coughs> if I ask you a question, you first start laying the introduction to it, but that you already done in the written part. Yes. So here, it will be far better if you come straight to the point. Okay. That, I'm, that's I'm the one thing I noticed. Second, in the two questions that I asked you out of the three, one was whether we overreacted to COVID and talking about vaccine, whether it's a uh, It's a hoax. Yes. Uh, you seem to be sort of not willing to form an opinion, or what was it? Uh, so personally, I was not uh, in agreement with the fact that vaccine. So why did you say that? Uh, why did you say that? I was, I think, a bit uh, conscious because. No, no. You are, you are. It, it was something that you were saying, so I had to. Read. So I was deliberately saying it to see whether you can form an opinion or not. Yeah. That might not have been my opinion. I was just creating a situation to see your reaction, and I noticed that you were sort of going round and round. Oh yes, I I, I felt that. Correct. <laughs> yes. And don't don't do that. It becomes very visible to any experienced interviewer that you are just avoiding. Reason could be anything, but but that doesn't create a very good impression. That is yes. the second one. Uh, I don't know anything about medical science, but whatever questions on forensics you are asking, yes, maybe we could have it a bit more depth or understanding. Uh, Am I yes. right there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I uh, I actually have. Yeah, that's the feeling I got without yes. knowing much. Yes, sir. I am. <coughs> I agree to that. The last point: two, three times in uh, answering, you said, as a student of anthropology, I think. Correct. Yes. Sir. Now, something could have happened, which means that had I, because you said two, three times, as a student of anthropology, I think I would have picked up some very in-depth anthropology. Hmm. You get my point? Yes, sir. yes. Sir. So try not to lead the boat into a direction unless you are very confident. Okay. Okay, sir. If you are smart, you lead us into a direction where we are very sure about. Yes. But anthropology paper one and paper two put together yeah. is huge, and somebody might know a lot of anthropology. Ah, that's all. So if you are leading the boat into a particular direction, there will be a direction where you are dead sure. Okay. These are my general observations. How do you rate today's interview? Uh, sir, it was a very good experience for me because this is my first top-line interview, so it gave me a lot of uh, confidence, and I, I myself realized the uh, mistakes that I was making. Correct. I yes. think you are smart enough to realize what I am saying. You already yes. know that. Yes. Correct. Yes. How do you rate yourself today on a scale of one to ten? Sir, honestly, I want to say I say five. Not me. Not me. You are better. You are better than five, definitely. <laughs> but uh, but you really need to work. Yes. You have a month, yes. and whatever I have said, I already know. And there is nothing that you can't do. Yes. These are simple things that can be done. Yes. And you have plenty of time. Yes. Go back to your dad. Go back to medical science, and now see forensics. Yes, sir. Now, uh, he as a former police officer knows a lot of forensics. Yes. Sir. I as an IS or former IS officer also know something. Yes. Sir. Yes. Correct. Yes. Sir. And but we are not doctors. We know the basics. Basics as a doctor, I mean. Yes. Me. Yeah. Uh, I will have to. Correct. Go back to your dad. Yes. Have a read up. Yes. Sir. Look at the keywords in your dad. Yes. Keywords. Yes. Build on that. And you have your time. Yes. Your time. And you are smart enough to know what I am saying. Yes. Correct. Yes. You want to ask anything? Um, no, sir. I, I, okay. All the best to you. Good luck to you. Very Thank good. Thank you so much. Focus on that. You will get all that. Yes. Thank okay. you so much. Bye. Thank you so much. Okay.